Now we come to describe uh, the density and the specific gravity, the two terms that we use in our everyday life. Every now and then we talk of them. The density is defined as mass per unit volume of a uh, of, of any fluid or any body that any mass that is under consideration. And since we are talking about only about the fluids, therefore we limit our discussions to the these parameters uh, for for fluids only. Def density normally is denoted by rho, and it is calculated by computing the ratio of mass over the volume. So, and it is written as rho is equal to mass over total volume m over v. Uh, so, kilogram per meter if we are using the uh, CGM uh, uh, system uh, or metric system. But uh, uh, it will be uh, different units if we are using British system. The reciprocal of the density is a specific volume. So 1 over rho uh, is a specific gravity, which is defined as volume per unit mass. For a differential volume element of mass dm and volume dv, uh, density can be expressed as rho uh, equal to dm over dv. Remember, when we are considering small deviation, small distance, or change in time, or change in distance, then if distance is denoted by x, we denote a small change in distance as dx. Similarly, for time, a small change in time is denoted by dt and likewise here uh, a change in a small a small change in mass and volume will be denoted by dm and dv respectively and accordingly uh, the chain, the rho corresponding rho will be uh, rho is equal to dm over dv we can just as well denote it as d rho also to indicate that it's a small change in the uh, density. The density of a substance in general depends on temperature and pressure. So we very much know this is a, a common knowledge. The density of most gases is proportional to pressure and is inversely proportional to temperature, uh, which means if we uh, decrease the temperature, the density increases and if we decrease, increase the temperature, the density decreases. Uh, again, a very familiar scene for us. If we uh, boil something, if we heat up something, uh, then or the gases itself, then the gases uh, expand. And what happens is that they, are, they become rarefied at their volume expands. So therefore, the density at a particular point will be reducing uh, at a higher temperature compared to the normal temperature. Liquids and solids, on the other hand, are essentially incompressible substances. And the variation of their density pressure is usually negligible. So in liquids, it's a different scenario, but in gases, there is a significant change that we can see. And uh, for, to give you an example, at 20 degrees centigrade, which is considered to be standard temperature for this kind of measurement, the density of water changes from 998 kilogram per meter per cubic meter at one atmospheric pressure to 1,003 kilogram per meter uh, per meter cube at 100 atmospheric pressure, which is a change of density with pressure, and that is usually negligible. It's a small change, and that can be ignored. But at 20, so uh, this change is considered to be about 5%, and uh, we can really ignore it, 0.05%, 0 
which can really be ignored and it's a small change. The density of liquids and solids depend more strongly on temperature than it does on pressure. At one atmospheric pressure, for example, the density of water changes from 998 kilogram per uh, meter cube at 20 degrees centigrade to 975 kilogram per cubic meter at 75 degrees, a change of 2.3 percent, which can still be neglected in many engineering analyses, in most of the analyses, we can also ignore considering change. Then it is called a specific gravity or relative density, uh, and that, that is defined as the ratio of density of a substance to the density of some standard substance. At a specified temperature uh, of, of water, for example, at 4 degrees centigrade, which is rho of water, H2O is a term, is a formula that we use in chemistry to represent water. Uh, so rho of water, that is density of water, uh, is 1000 kilogram per metric cube at 4 degrees temperature, considered as uh, the normal uh, or uh, the, the representative density of water. And the specific gravity will be correspondingly defined as rho over rho of water. So specific gravity, if we have to calculate, as I have said, that these are calculated by calculating the density with respect to the density of a standard, uh, a standard liquid or fluid. And water is considered to be a standard liquid. So if we want to compare, to determine specific gravity of many, many elements, it is uh, calculated as uh, div uh, rho divided by, uh, density divided by density of water at a given temperature.